Hello everyone and welcome back to RimWorld and to one man and his work, though currently that one man has several other friends as well. Some of them are even building his uh, temporary uh, meditation area, uh, which is actually quite nice. Uh, though, thinking about it, why am I building that floor there? Ah, that was a bit silly because I'm going to be placing a wall there. Oh, well, I guess it's not the worst thing that could have happened. But let's go ahead and dig this out just so it's... Uh, Nice and symmetrical. I've decided that actually I do want to uh, have a path all the way around. We'll see how that goes. Now, for those of you who were interested, we do ha actually have a little bit uh, more information regarding meditation. Now, first and foremost, before we get to that, look at how happy Dark Havoc is. That's crazy. He's not so so thrilled about the darkness, but that, that's fine. Now, if we go in here, I noticed during editing on the last video that we can actually see the types of meditation that Dark Ava can uh, take part in. Nature is not one of them. He can uh, take part in dignified meditation because he's a human. That means he can meditate on a throne. The Empire has much more of a focus on a kind of like a, a holy um, warrior order rather than pampered nobles. And... and I get the impression that that was always kind of the intention, but maybe it just kind of uh, swung and a miss, uh, it went a little bit awry. But uh, they can have de dignified meditation. He can also have artistic medica uh, med medication, uh, maybe in a way, uh, medication of the mind. Uh, he can also have artistic uh, meditation, uh, which is because he's a jungle kid and he's not an ascetic. Now, I believe what it means by because he was a jungle kid is that that is not a tribal background, and that's why he can use artistic. He can use small, large, or grand sculptures for the, that purpose, and he can also use mo morbid meditation because he's a cannibal, and that means graves and sarcophagus. Now, everyone has their own set of things. Uh, for example, Lady Wolfhawk can only have artistic because she was a coma child and is not an ascetic. Evil friend over here, much the same. A child spy, an ascetic. Ike has a bit of an interesting one, I noticed. Artistic and morbid. Now, Ike can meditate on graves and sarcophagi because they're an undergrounder. I wouldn't have picked that one out, honestly, but that's an interesting one. And finally, Bone Dragon, the only form of meditation that Bone Dragon can take part in is the campfire, small nature shrine, large nature shrine, animus stone, and animus tree. Nature, because they are a, they have a tribal background. Now that one's actually really interesting. You may notice I'm also running some new conduits around and uh, we're gonna get down to that in a little while. Now, first and foremost, I actually wanna shift one of these batteries around. I want that one to be reinstalled there. And as soon as that's all hooked up, then we're gonna uninstall this one, but we're gonna change how we're dealing with this room. Eventually, uh, quite a few people pointed out the reason why we were discharging the batteries is because they were load balancing, and that may well be the case. Though uh, the self-discharge, uh, it's uh, impressions are a little bit uh, mixed on that, whether that's that they will always discharge or rather that's how much they'll do to load balance. I suspect based only on what it says, and how it says it, that is the name of this uh, of this entry. When it is installed, it is always losing power at a very, very slight rate. But we don't really want that. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to uninstall them and we're just going to store them. Now that has a, a dual benefit in that it will mean that we also get to store them in a much, much uh, more compact way because the battery, which takes two tiles to be installed, takes only one, start, uh, one tile to be stored. That one's going to be an interesting one. Now, we've got two big projects that I would like to work on in this episode. One, I would very much like to get the uh, next set of bedrooms and little common room area set up. Two, I would like to uh, work on a prison. Sorry about my alarm there. It is very early in the day and I couldn't sleep, so I got up Way, way, way too early. On the on the plus side, actually, I'm, I'm kind of pleased with that because uh, of late, uh, just with everything going on, my, my sleep schedule has been all kinds of messed up. It's kind of been all over the place, and uh, I've been sleeping like eight hours, nine hours a day, ten hours sometimes, and uh, the, like the whole biphasic, triphasic stuff that that was that went like weeks and weeks ago. I was just a bit too stressed, um, but I'm starting to gravitate back towards that now. For the last couple of days, I've more or less slept twice 
in a day. And each time after about three hours, two hours, my body's just being like, yep, had enough sleep now. Wide awake. Let's go. So uh, I'm slowly getting back to my to how I used to feel, uh, which is a massive, massive uh, improvement in my opinion. Right. Okay. So we're, uh, we're back to meditating. Okay. Desired side focus at 50. I actually wouldn't mind getting that desired side focus up to 75. If you wouldn't mind. If you could get her all the way up there, then I could do wondrous things. Truly, truly wondrous things. Though, I would like to have a look at what you're doing. You are having recreation right now. Is it? It's solitary recreation. Okay. No, that's cool. Maybe. Maybe I need to drop a couple of other, other meditation spots around for people to just meditate. That wouldn't be a bad thing, in my opinion. Truly wouldn't. Bone Dragon, could you help out with these two for me? If we get those going, then that would be grand, and eventually we'll get that built for you as well. Once all of that's done, in fact, as soon as this little bit is done, then uh, we can... Could you work on that, perhaps? Uh, then I can uninstall this battery. There we are. Okay, that can now be uninstalled, as can these. Uninstall all of them, please, and thank you. And on that note, let's go ahead, because a battery, if you look in the power mode, you can see that they do have conduits underneath them, but I don't believe those act as conduits. I believe that the, the ones that come as part of a battery are considered part of the battery and not a conduit in the traditional sense and thus can't have a zut. But uh, still, this would uh, go forward to, to remove even that potential issue. Now, I want a stockpile zone in here strictly for batteries. And as a result, we can just name it batteries there we go the only thing the very very only thing we want in here is furniture now actually it'll probably be under items uh body parts no 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 new trains no unfinished no apparel buildings there we go uh now power battery yes there we are and i want this one to be a uh, important one yeah sure uh, is this important? No, that's normal. Good. I, then I suppose I can pop this one down to preferred. Important seems a little bit more grand than I would really like. Uh, so hopefully they will now go ahead and, and shift those batteries over there. And little by little, we will slowly build all of this up. They will have their full storage in there, which is uh, rather amazing. I mean, they're not fully charged, but uh, we'll make a point of always bringing them in. Now, the one big benefit to having them installed you can see the charge level uh you know it's a small thing to lose i suppose but it, it is something to point out you do lose it which is a bit of a shame but there we are right uh, everything is coming along in here we are going to continue with the mining in a little while uh down here i've got some plans on how i want to move things around in here ultimately i would like it if i had the butcher area and the kitchen isolated from uh, from everything else in the colony and connected only to our freezer. So to get to them, you'd have to go through the freezer and into those rooms specifically. Solar flare, damn it. Okay, all power is down. Uh, how warm is it outside? It's not too bad. It's not too bad. This, this could be a lot worse. Uh, we will keep an eye on that for now. Toxic buildup is initial there. Uh, we should be okay with, with uh, Lady Wolfheart. But for too long, that, that's nothing that we need to worry about there. Uh, yeah, we need to sort this out. Right, left eye and right middle finger. Someone did ask me to check on Ike's ability with working on plants because of their, their uh, lost sight. Because that is actually reasonably important. I mean, it's 20% importance, but... Uh, hmm. Yeah, that is a bit of a shame. That is a bit of a shame. If I were to have a look at Dark Havoc, for example, and then check out his plant uh, plant harvest yield 97. I mean, he's still slower and is only just just uh, below Ica in terms of his ability to to work with plants. But that is a shame. Oh no, actually, uh, Dark Havoc is, is a little bit bit better, so that's doubly a shame then in that case. We have a look at others, plant harvest yield. Yeah, most people are not going to be anywhere close to Ica or Dark Avec, but that is a grand shame. On the plus side, there are still many, many reasons why we want Ica to be working on that wherever we can, uh, simply because it's something that they enjoy. Now, in terms of our hunting, I really want someone with high animals and generally good shooting 
to be hunting. It's not something that we generally need someone doing here. So I'm actually going to take these away from pretty much everyone but Dark Avac for now. Now, the reason why you want to make sure that they've got uh, hunting, it was actually pointed out to me in the comments. This was not something I was aware of, but it makes a lot of sense now that it's pointed out, is that this will affect the odds. And apparently this has been in for quite some time, so I'm not really sure how I managed to miss that, but I, I totally did. So thank you very much uh, for those of you in the comments who pointed this out. But it affects the odds of having an animal have a negative of, uh, event, like an actual event, not a negative reaction to you, to you harming them. There's a percentage chance on that. That's always going to be the case. But for example, um, the whole herd of that animal going manhunter, if that one animal decides to take revenge, so on, so forth. It's been a bit of an interesting one, that. So uh, we're going to have to keep an eye on that. And right now, Dark Havoc is by far the best with animals. Not quite so the uh, in terms of uh, dealing with uh, shooting, though, actually. That being said, yeah, actually, Dark Havoc is also the, the best shot in the colony, which is a bit of an interesting one. Right, how's it going there, Dark Havoc? Are you, you enjoying your meditation? Yes, you are. Uh, you're currently on Do Anything. So Dark Havoc will actually maintain, uh, will we'll use this form of meditation quite often. Uh, we'll try and get some sarcophagi in there as soon as we can. Uh, it's, it's something I would like to see in here. We'll probably uh, switch around some of the graves. In fact, many of the graves will be switched around in time. Uh, I'm not sure if the sarcophagi can ever be treated as artistic items even though they may um, have art on them. We'll have, to, we'll have to have a look into that one. It'll be an interesting uh, interesting discovery one way or the other. But that's going to be it for me for now. It's the 4th of April, May. Uh, it is 3 p.m. And I will bring you back when there's something to report. Oh, dear. It was that time, I suppose. We have got our first infestation. And it looks like it... Oh, actually, that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Okay, now why is it chosen to be over there, I wonder? Uh, I mean, the whole world is, is reasonably uh, uh, possible right now, uh, but they chose not to infest down here. Now, there is a way, if you're curious, and then, you know what, I'll, I'll, I'll show you a way. I usually don't uh, ever turn on any kind of uh, dev tools whilst I'm uh, in, a, in a let's play save, but I'll quickly show you the way that you can, can work this sort of stuff out. Giant insects are turning towards you. They will break through in a few seconds and plant hives. The hives will spawn more insects and more hives. If you don't want the insects to infest the whole area, destroy the hives. But beware, bugs will defend their home. So uh, that's the location. Now we want to know why they chose this location over all of the others, because there's no... Um, well, I guess th it's probably this, the, the proximity of this particular wall there. But why didn't they go down here? For example, we're not lighting that area. We are lighting this one, so that would explain why. But uh, let me show you how you can find this out. Now, if you go into options, uh, you should be able to find developer mode. You can permanently disable developer mode, but uh, for doing a little one shot or, or when I'm uh, playing around on a creative map to try and understand things it's useful to have that there so in developer mode you can bring up uh, i believe it is view toggle god mode no open inspector open the view settings here we go and you can then find let's see draw infestation should be there we are infestation chance now this is gonna lag the game hard really hard so be aware of that as you can see it's chopping because it's it's trying to draw everywhere now if we look down here the walls that i built are giving this area a decently high infestation chance and uh, we can see that indicated there the deeper the blue the stronger the chance now if you look over here we can see that there is some infestation chance back here. In fact, uh, there's, there's quite a lot there. <laughs> there's a lot more than I was expecting. How troubling. How very, very, very troubling. But, you know, the, these are the sorts of things that uh, you can, can learn over time. You've even got an infestation chance in this room here. But uh, the one that they've chosen is up here. Now, perhaps uh, one of these tiles is much deeper than all of the others. These ones look particularly... Uh, particularly intense. Now, the infestation will just pick one spot, but the the actual infestation itself can be spread out over a fair old uh, area. Now, uh, we're going to go ahead and turn that back off and turn off dev mode, but that's how you can work out uh, and, and can start to learn what you need to look for for these sort of things. So we're going to have our first hive. 
pop up. We've got two uh, separate little hives there, just uh, popping things around. Ooh, it's actually actually wobbling. That's quite interesting. And we've got just two small hives. We've got a couple of uh, mega scarabs, uh, spellopedes. Okay, and uh, obviously mega spiders as well. Now the temperature outside is is quite a balmy one. Uh, I suspect this is not going to be much of an issue for these ones. Okay, well, uh, that's going to be an interesting one to see. At this point, I think we're going to start saying that duck can be... Uh, we can try and uh, bring them into the fold. Uh, let's have a look at their bio again. Underground up, bloodless, so you'll definitely be able to uh, meditate on morbid. Uh, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, it's hard to say. But we are going to start trying to recruit you at this point. Now... If we don't want to end up with an enormous hive over here, then we probably need to try and deal with this. But that being said, this hive exists over on this edge. Now, is that going to be a useful hive to us? No, not really. And we're not particularly in that much of a problem that we need the food. So it would be difficult for us to arrange for this to be a useful way of encouraging enemies to try and kill themselves on the hives. Uh, we could do it if we burrowed through and made this the only realistic access point for our colony, but we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to try and take these out. Now, the best way for us to have that happen would be to build some turrets and then lure the the enemies toward it. Now, we don't have turrets. Uh, quite often, you will have that as a... Uh, as a um, uh, rich explorers start, but we have not. Uh, in fact, we, we very specifically turned that off for this particular scenario. Let me just make sure all of these are what we are. We are instead going to drop down a couple of traps through this little area here. Maybe one there, maybe one there. Uh, another one on this side, just in places where it would be much uh, much easier for us to, to navigate around them. Now, if we can get all of that together, and hopefully we can, then we are going to be able to get out there and deal with those. I'll probably have our fastest colonists go out there, try to, to plink at them a little bit, annoy them, and lure them in. We'll see how that goes. We've also got the uh, the uh, mechanoids over there that we're probably going to need to deal with at some time in the near future. This is going to make things a little bit more interesting for us, certainly. Uh, in fact, toward this end, I'm probably going to try and limit the amount of work that we're going to do down here. We'll take away all of that dig uh, job. I'll allow them to finish digging this out if they can, but that's uh, that's all I really wanted to do. Lady Wolfheart and Evil Friend doing good work. They've got quite a lot of the steel down here already. In fact, we've got almost four full traps. Wow, okay. Oh, right, sorry. Three full traps and uh, two traps at half the steel they need. Well, we can definitely get that going, though. So uh, hopefully we'll see that all done in the reasonably near future. I've got other plans for all of this area. I've been looking at this, this particular storage here. I'm thinking that perhaps we could expand out our food storage and have this as our cook slash... Um, uh, butchery area and it could possibly be be heated i'm not sure uh obviously if we want to make use of the heat being vented from the the freezer we would have to have the cook and butchering area over on this side so uh, there's some there's some questions there but uh we can definitely have a look into that one now we've got a decent amount of stuff down there i would uh, kind of like a couple more things to be broken down let's have a look uh dark Havoc, how are you doing uh, how's everyone else for, for health? Grass available. Paid psychic suppression. Interesting. Uh, I can only assume that that would be a bad thing. Uh, the idea of psychic suppression, hmm, not entirely liking that. An acolyte of the Broken Empire wants to perform a low power test of one of his ship's area attack weapons. If he does, the psychic suppression wave will reduce the consciousness of all males around Noble Rest for 4.7 days. Since you are a local landholder under Imperial law, uh, Theofact needs your honourable permission to proceed. <laughs> I'm liking this. I am. I'm actually liking the way that this has been re rewritten. I do feel it's it's quite an about face. Um, although, as I mentioned earlier, it does seem like that was the intention for them to be like um, almost almost like a, a pseudo warrior priest kind of thing. 
that really wasn't what we got. We got Dwarf Fortress Nobles. That's what we got. But that has been about faced. It's, it's an interesting one. I am 100% going to say nope. I'm not having all the, the men in the colony be unconscious for more than seven days. Well, that seems like an awful idea. Absolutely wretched. My goodness. All uh, right. But for the time being, we're going to continue on the little bit of work we've got over here. Ike is uh, doing a fair bit of it by, by himself, actually, which is quite nice. Once we've got this area mined out, that I can start placing in the, uh, the cladding and such around there. In fact, I also want to make sure that we've got the uh, power conduits connected up there, just so that we've got a full circuit around that, that location. We've got quite a few uh, uh, setups around here now regarding... All of that, a dark having a yoke, just going out and wandering with each other. I mean, that, you know, that makes perfect sense. Uh, let's also get that shifted, and I would like very much to have slate flagstone around here, and that will complete this little area. Again, later on, we'll make this even nicer, but uh, right now, what we really need is for all of that down there. We don't want to, to mess with the mechanoids right now, but we do very urgently need to get on top of this if we can. Now, hopefully, this is now one of the only places that they've got. Well, actually, they've got a little bit more digging they can do over here, so they'll probably work on that for, before too long, but uh, we'll see how it goes. 12% uh, chances, low mood for Duck there. It was unlikely that we were going to succeed there, but, uh, you know, that's fine. We'll find out who Duck is most friends with shortly, and uh, hopefully that will help us out. But why are, is no one doing any mining? That is a little bit worrisome. Bone Dragon has got a got a bit of a, a break there on the way. Uh, let's have a look. How long until you reproduce? 1.5 days, 1.4 days. Yeah, you're probably both going to reproduce before I can get over there and deal with that, but it shouldn't be too terribly bad, I guess. The other thing I can do is move some of these, uh, these uh, traps that we've got around here. Maybe that would be a worthwhile thing to do. We install this perhaps down there, for example. We could cancel these three and move a few more of these over. Uh, this one, for example, let's uh, reinstall that one just down by here. We'll also grab this one, reinstall that, and finally this one. Now that is removing a lot of the defenses, which is a shame, but hopefully you can get all of this done relatively fast and then we should be okay. In fact, I could just go ahead and cancel this particular job there. There we go. And uh, hopefully someone can come along and grab that for us. Reinstall this in its place. And with that, right. Okay. Many of them are down. This is a chance. The Dark Avid's go out there. We've currently got an assault rifle. Do I want to try and set them on fire is uh, the question. Possibly, actually. Let's have a look at our weapons. We've got a uh, combat shotgun. We have got an incendiary launcher. Lady Wolf, how have you got? You've got a... Uh, currently, you've got a machine pistol, Eagle Friend. You've got a combat... A chain shotgun. Ica, you've got the heavy SMG. And Bone Dragon... For now, I would like you to have the revolver because you're not particularly... Uh, in, f in fact, you actually, you're a brawler, aren't you? Yes, you are. So, cancel that. Clear that, uh, that pickup and you can go grab the Iqua. Because in a way, that means you can have a... Uh, oops. What what happened there? Ah! I can still hear things, but the game went completely black for me for a moment. Hmm. That's a little bit worrying. Uh, right, but... Uh, oh. Is an item there. It could be that one of the items in here is no longer an item that I should, should have since the update. Uh, it may have removed that item, but it didn't get removed from the save. That has happened to me in the past. I'll, I'll double check that when I'm not recording. But uh, for the time being, uh, Bone Dragon, if you could go and grab the uh, Iqua, that would be fantastic. Though having you hobbling around outside is not a great thing. I'm actually going to tell you to stay in the roofed zone where it's safest for you. All right, okay. Dark Avak, evil friend. How are you doing in terms of health? Uh Okay, for, for now, everyone, if you could just stay roofed for the time being, that would be grand. In fact, I can get you down there whilst under the, the cover of a roof. Okay, good. Uh, we will be going with that. But for the time being, let's just get everyone inside. I want everyone to have a, a, a night of uh, some decent rest 
And then we're going to go up and start dealing with these guys. Uh, where is Dark Havoc right now? Uh, he's meditating, that's fine. Now, your abilities, obviously, we've got uh, Blinding Pulse, which will be very useful if any of the insects get it within melee range. Well, we would ideally want to use it a little bit before that. But uh, Stun is going to be the order of the day. Also Pain Block to a lesser extent. In fact, you're, you're good to go. Evil Friend, we're going to wait for Evil Friend to have had a nice sleep. And then we'll uh, see about getting out there. Bulk Goods Trader from the Green Yank Comba. Okay, um, you can pop on up and we'll see if there's anything to trade with you prior to us attacking the insect. In fact, that might be a good time. Ooh, this could be a damned good time. All right, Evil Friend, Dark Havoc. Now's your chance. Let's go. Let's get down here. I don't want Yoko coming for this one. Yoko, stay behind. You'll you'll get too excited, and you might might uh, get messed up by the by the insect. I do not want that to happen. Right, let's uh, get up here. All right, evil evil friend. I want you back here. Dark Havoc is incredibly fast, so we just want him to get into position, take a couple of shots. All we want. Right, move back. There we go. Take the shot. That was a bad shot. Move up. Take the shot again. There we go. Now that should have annoyed them. Bail out. There we go. On They're on their way. Evil friend, draw back. Uh, in fact, evil friend, head back over here. Dark Havoc, I'm going to want you to pause here. Take a couple more shots. Just make sure they, they remain interested. Good enough. You hit. Let's get through. Flash storm is over. And the insects are on their way. Now, some of them should get messed up by the traps that we've laid in their path. Keep up the run. There we go. We've already taken out quite a few of them, in fact. Uh, okay, you were a little bit too wise there. All right. Bit of a pain, but uh, okay. Right, evil friend, I want you to draw all the way back. Uh, you can uh, attack from over here once they get closer. Uh, Dark Havoc's going to take a couple more shots before they get too near. Right, Lady Wolfheart, want you to back us up down here if you could. Ica, same thing, but I want you up there. In fact, Lady Wolfheart, could you go up there as well? Right, Dark Havoc, come up. One more shot. One more volley. Right, well done. Well done. Pull back. You don't want to be there anymore. Just let the traders deal with it. In fact, with this done, we can probably safely head around. Uh, let's get down here if we can. And go for their hives. Are they going for the hives? They might be. Are they actually going for the hives? Oh, this is fantastic. They're going to help out with that as well. This is fantastic news. Okay, you guys, you're free to go back to your, to your work. All right, evil friend, how are you doing? You're actually doing fairly well. Now, on the plus side as well, we will end up with a decent amount of other items. Right, we want all of this brought in. We want uh, pretty much anything that isn't already dead. Hunted. All of this needs to be brought in. That needs to be brought in. Right, how are things going down here? Uh, you know what? Just get in there and melee attack them. You should be good to go with that. Uh, actually, evil friend, you've got a chain shotgun. Go ahead and use that. Uh, you just get in there. There we go. Perfect. Wonderful. Didn't even need to use any psychic abilities. All right. Well done, everyone. Well done indeed. Uh, we're going to want all of this hauled, effectively. So, Dark Havoc, how about before you go back, you just grab as much of the uh, insect jelly as you can. Evil friend, if you could do the same, that would be fantastic. Uh, grab all of it. There we are. We'll leave the glow pods. There's no real ne reason for worrying about that. Uh, now, all we need to do is order that the uh, surviving insects are hunted. Uh, that one needs to be hunted. I don't want to just draw this across the whole screen in fear of uh, accidentally catching any... Oh, yeah, exactly. Laboratory Retriever. You're going to die in an hour. No, Dark Havoc, you need to abandon whatever you're doing. I want you to rescue the Labrador Retriever. I don't think you're going to make it, though. Try, though. Do your best. Um, I don't think it's going to survive. I'm fairly certain it's going to die in Dark Havoc's arms. But it died valiantly! <sighs> its sacrifice will be honoured in the stomachs of our colonists. Papa was roused to the defense of the colony. It shall be honored. Uh, in fact, <laughs> I could build a sarcophagus. Uh, you know what? 
maybe. Uh, sarcophagus. Where are we going to find that? Miscellaneous. Sarcophagus. Uh, what do we have? We could make it a marble sarcophagus. Sure. I'm not really certain of the direction we need to put that in. But I would actually like it to be isolated for now then. Alright, we need to... Well, A, take all of this stuff. But furthermore, how badly messed up are you? Dead in seven hours. Okay, then we need to rescue you. I mean, you, you, you bravely helped us stay alive. So, uh, yeah. Install this in a room where there is some heating. Um, I'll pop them down here. Now, who's closest to that? Your friend is currently bringing in an insect corpse. Great. Uh, could you work on this for me? Go, go, go. Let's get this up and running. Thank you. Now, well, that needs to be a medical bed. There we are. And now... I would like you to go and rescue Green. Please and thank you. Let's get you in here. Uh, right, with that happening, Lady Wolfheart, are you able to go and trade? Let's see what we can do. See what we can do. Right, they've got a duck. Oh, we could be getting some some meat and or eggs from that. Uh, but, uh, sorry, uh, ranched animals now. Uh, when, when an animal is tamed to you and you slaughter it you can be much more precise about the slaughter as a result you get 50 percent more meat out of an animal if it was tame and you slaughtered it well, that makes ranching a much much bigger deal than it used to be uh, this may legitimately become a, a very very uh, powerful uh, option for us uh, we'll keep that that paint stopper i think uh, i'm Alpaca wool button-down shirt. Maybe we'll keep that one too, actually. Uh, alpaca wool cowboy hat. Cloth pants. Uh, is there really anything here that I would want to buy? This is the question. I don't think there is. They don't have any medicine, which is the main thing that I would go for. So I'm just going to cancel that. That's fine. Hopefully we can get uh, everyone in who needs to be brought in. Uh, Yoko is heading out to grab something. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what I want, but... Uh, we will probably leave these traps where they are and instead build a new uh, where, we, where we're going to need them. So one over here, one there, for example, there and there as well. Just in the places which are most likely to see some activity. Right, okay. So with that done, we will hopefully... Uh, are they tended? They are still not tended. That is awful. Uh, you're attempting to tend to duck. Okay. Uh, you're, sorry, you are attempting to recruit duck. What are you up to now? All right. No one is taking care of the person who's bleeding out. Please. Uh, rest until healed. Why? Uh, are you already tending? Shot by Dark Ava. What? Did I misread that? Hmm. You still drafted? No. Already tending. Okay, that's fine. You woke up recently, and you're going to take care of that. You know what? This is no longer a prisoner bed. Duck, welcome to the colony. Uh, in, amongst everything else that's been happening, I didn't didn't have time to to uh, probably look into that. But we've got a new recruit. Fantastic. That did not take very long at all. Well. Done, Lady Wolfheart. Now, uh, of course, we're going to have to go and uh, find a name for Duck. So, who are you, Duck? Let's find out. Everyone, welcome Pepster to the colony. Welcome, Pepster. Hopefully, you will have a wonderful time. You're incapable of caring. That's probably good for you, frankly. Uh, you're a vengeful child. Now, out of curiosity, what does that give you? It gives you natural and morbid. Interesting. You've got bloodlust and you're an undergrounder, which means that you've got the morbid option and uh because your your um, childhood was a vengeful child you can use natural focuses okay well uh, <laughs> fair enough i suppose now let's have a look at you you're not a doctor so you're not going to be doing any kind of work that with that now you do have an interest in uh social uh, that's actually pretty good though it's still quite low you also got an interest in animals but you are very interested in fighting. Uh, as a child, Pepsa returned to her village to find that it had been wiped out by bandits. She swore revenge on the attackers and began a violent rampage across the wilderness, shooting 
and melee plus three, but no doctoring. Uh, very well, but uh, let's see what we can do for you then. I'm going to say that given that these are fairly low, I'm going to allow you to have them at threes, but I'm not going to put them up to twos until you've got some decent skill in them. Uh, I don't want you cooking at all, in fact. Uh, and as for hunting, mm, you've got interest in it, but I'm going to leave that down at a fairly low level for now, I think. Uh, just for the time being. You can have constructing there, you can have growing and plant cutting, and in fact mining all at fours. No crafting is going to happen. Well, uh, crafting at four, I suppose. You can have uh, research at a four as well, though that being said, you are a research of five. You've actually got one of the highest research skills in the colony. To that end, once there's nothing to haul, you're going to research above anyone else. Well done, Pepster. Uh, hopefully you can accelerate our progress towards greatness. Now, do we have enough marble? We should do. Dark Havoc, what are you currently working on? You're cooking four simple meals. Okay, once you're done with that, could you work on this sarcophagus? I would like to get uh, the Honourable Papa uh, in a sarcophagus as soon as possible, please. Uh, there we go. Let's uh, get down there as quickly as we can. Fantastic. Uh, exotic goods trade. Wow, Sudus Alliance is sending so many traders our way. I mean, I'm very happy with this. Very happy indeed. I approve. Let's get that sorted. Oh no. Green has gotten sick from an infection. The infection is in her left shoulder. Ensure you have medical bed and a doctor. Make sure the green has proper treatment and spends as much time in bed as possible. Well, both Lady Wolfheart and Dark Havoc are set to take care of that. Evil friend, you should never do any doctoring. Uh, Lady Wolfheart, as soon as you're done with that... Uh, actually, no. You know what? You're going to do that first. Let's, let's not dilly-dally. Let's uh, get that infection tended to. Please and thank you. They are a guest. An honoured guest. No less. Uh, let's make sure that this is all set up. Marble sarcophagus. Good. Excellent. Right, in terms of storage, animal corpses. Yes. Could we now bury the pupper? Uh, prioritize a burying a Labrador retriever. Please and thank you. An, a noble warrior has fallen and shall be buried with all rights due their station. There we go. Okay, let's have a quick look. Let's have a look at the art. Okay, Laboratory Retriever. Dead. Died on the 7th of April, May, 5502. Titled, Sir Cloyd for Death. Author, Dark Avac. The sarcophagus is engraved with a representation of a solitary singer seen through a looking glass. If you squint your eyes, the dynamic composition of the image reveals the outline of a mosquito. Okay, so you, you basically made a magic eye sarcophagus. All right. Fair enough. Uh, okay, Lady Wolfheart, you can trade when you when you get time to wake up. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and make a delicious meal over there if we can. We're also getting all of the insect meat uh, taken care of, which is particularly good. Uh, we've got plenty of meals in here. I don't think we're going to be looking to get any new um, colonists for a little while, I should imagine, but we'll, we'll see. We are probably getting close to needing to expand out our food situation given that uh, we have expanded our colony quite a lot we're now up to six colonists i'm a little bit shocked uh, a little bit surprised happy but also cautious about this in many many ways oh we've got a, ooh, a male wag a young male wag a lot of insect jelly that we could sell Glitter world. There's a psychic shock lance, uh, which we could use to down someone we absolutely wanted to take uh, alive. A neuro trainer for uh, art. Okay, that's not too bad. A water skip. Uh, this is a silent level two, so Dark Avac could use this. Uh, all right. Well, what exactly does water skip do? Uh, it doesn't really say. Uh, uh, douse the target area in water, extinguishing fires. The water is arc technologically skipped from distant bodies of water or underground aquifers. So uh, basically teleporting water. Uh, there's chaos skip. Now this is a level 3 so Dark Ava couldn't use this. Teleport the target to a random position near where, uh, position near where he started and wall rays of course and vertigo pulse. These are not things that we necessarily need to go for. Uh, armored skin gland. Psychic sensitizer and bionic animal ear implant. 
Let's have a look at the uh, psychic sensitizer. The brain implant stimulates growth in the regions of the brain related to psychic interaction, thus increasing psychic sensitivity. Now, psychic sensitivity is going to affect general stats to do with psionics, but also makes a person more vulnerable to psionics as well. Got an armor skin gland. The bionic gland releases chemicals and nanomachines that toughen the skin and add flexible subdermal keratin plates at strategic points. This makes the user more resistant to damage across their whole body. Unfortunately, these changes make the skin appear leathery, with wrinkles across the whole body and face, which is generally considered ugly. So beauty would go down by one. Moving would be a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, less convenient. It would be 10% slower, but your You'd get a 52% bonus to sharp resist, 40% bonus to heat resist, and 20% bonus to blunt resist. Your armor would be, your skin rather, I should say, your skin would just be more resistant to fire, more, more pockets of dense organic material, which would be, uh, which would uh, stand up a bit better to, to high temperatures. Uh, blunt would be particularly low, but sharp, which by the way, is bullets, is also much higher. I don't think we're going to go for any of these, but I am very, very interested in this, uh, in the mail mark there. Very interested indeed. Hmm. Okay. I, I really couldn't pass up on the, the chance of getting Yoko some company. We're going to be buying the mail yet, wag. We are going to be buying it with the four package survival meals that I bought from elsewhere. Actually, we don't even need to sell those. I can probably uh, keep those just for our, our general colonists. I did mention that food was a little bit of an issue. Now, we are selling all of the insect jelly. So in the way, that insect wave worked out really well for us. It's not going to be often that you can say that straight up. Yes, that that no one got hurt. None of our people, obviously, lots of the traders got hurt and the, that brave papa gave its life. But in exchange, we are able to give another papa its freedom. So I think uh, the circle of life is complete there. We are also selling the wall raise side trainer. This is level four. I'm not sure how useful this particular ability would be. I can imagine it would be crazy good under certain circumstances, but the amount of time it's going to take us to get to the point we can use it I'm not sure how long that's going to take. We're also going to buy a telescope just to give our peeps something else they can do. Now, obviously, getting a telescope, hmm. You know what? We're going to get a tube television instead. Now, the reason why I'm going for the tube television instead of the telescope, I like the telescope. I, I, I think it's a generally quite, uh, quite a good one, a, a recreation uh, type telescope study. But what I want are different types of recreation, and we'll get that from television watching. Now, it's going to consume some power. Yes, the telescope would be free. Yes, but the telescope needs sight to the sky. It is also going to be something outside. <sighs> if this toxic fallout, I don't want people having to relax by going out and standing in it in order to look at the stars. I'm sure the stars are super pretty, but no. Uh, that's all we're going to be doing, though. I think uh, that'll be a fairly decent trade, all things considered. Could you haul in... The, uh, oh, you're not allowed out there. Um, Pepsa probably is. Pepsa, could you haul this in for me? Uh, we can also get some other items now then. Oh, this is fantastic. Truly, I'm extremely happy about this. Let's, uh, let's start work. And uh, now you're already saying, let's start work on, sure, let's, let's get, um, let's, let's teach you some loyalty for the colonists first. So we'll start with guard, then we'll move on to attack. Then we'll probably uh, see where else we go after that. Now, you're allowed out because I want you to go and grab the silver for me, please. And thank you. Uh, what just happened there? Quest available. Spectacle of bugs. I can only assume this is not going to be a good thing. A dame of the Broken Empire is having trouble landing in near Noble Rest due to repeated infestations. She wants to draw the bugs to you to be dealt with. They, uh, this will provoke an infestation of eight types. But an Altex shirt. Now that has got my attention. A shirt embedded with special psychic focusing materials. These enhance psychic sensitivity and help dissipate natural heat, or rather neural heat. Now, the reason why I like this over gaining um, a, a neuro uh, transformer, which would permanently do it, you can take this off. If you're wearing that, 
and suddenly there's a negative psionic effect in the area, just take it off, put it away for a little bit, come back to it when there's a psychic soothe, wear it then, it'll be great. But uh, that has dual effects. I, I like that. More sensitive uh, people suffer more from negative psychic effects and benefit more from positive ones. Higher psychic sensitivity also increases neural heat limit, which would allow us to use more uh, more abilities prior to anything going awry. Uh, okay, well, uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and grab everything we can. That was that was reasonably good. I think uh, I'm pretty pretty happy with what we got out of that. Are we going to take? on that uh, that task i don't know that one i'm a little bit uncertain of uh, let's have a look at your health uh, no longer incapable of walking that's very good to see you've got a minor infection uh, you've got 28 uh, percent on the infection but uh, immunity at 40 percent. you should be okay cause the spellipede hacked green in the left shoulder leaving a horrific wound yes i can imagine that was uh, not good at all hopefully we're going to be able to get you back uh, back up and fighting fit sooner rather than later but uh we've got lots of good things going on right now and i'm so so incredibly happy to have a new warg uh i would like that warg to stay in the home area only though uh, we will see how uh, how this is gonna go. You know what? I I think we we're, we're gonna gonna have to give our new wag a name, but I'm gonna leave that for for the next episode. I think I'm gonna gonna pick a name exclusively from from uh, those who want the name of this wag. So do let me know down in the comments below if you would like to have a wag name, because I know it's a, it's a little bit different to have a, a wag named uh, named after you versus having a colonist. I know some people would much much prefer to specifically have. A colonist but uh, do let me know if you'd be interested in getting that wag named for you now it is the 8th of april may and quite a lot of things have happened i must say but i'm gonna allow the colony a, a little bit of time to uh, start recovering and maybe get a little bit more work done i am i am growing a little bit concerned i'm not seeing a lot of uh, food in here that's deeply worrisome i am seeing an awful lot of herbal medicine though so i'm starting to think that perhaps Perhaps I need to have the, uh, no, no, I select that, there we go. Don't want you to sow anymore. Once these plants are fully harvested, in fact, I might actually just wait for those ones to be uh, harvested. Uh, once they have fully grown and we've got all of that in, we're going to switch this over to food for a little while. We'll, we'll switch out the, the uh, crops. That being said, we've got corn at 65% and that may bolster our food limit quite significantly now we will use insect meat if we have to to keep regular food or at the very least we'll, we'll avoid um, feeding our colonists human meat uh, ahead of uh, insect meat they won't like the insect meat but i can only assume that they would prefer it to eating people the fools uh, bone dragon is actually meditating interesting let's have a look at your schedule did you did you just want to meditate uh, perhaps bone dragon just flat out did uh, what are you doing? You're just meditating, but in what way are you meditating? This will be solitary relaxation. Okay. You know what? If uh, that's what you'd like to do, then you're more than welcome to. Frankly, I think that's uh, quite marvellous, in fact. But we've got quite a lot of work that we need to work on. We've got two whole new bedrooms that we need quite uh, quite desperately, actually. I want to get Pepsi out of there so I can make that into a bit more of a common room. But uh, that's going to require some other work to be done before. Fantastic news, everyone. Green is fully healed. The infection developed immunity at a fairly uh, comfortable amount. Actually, the infection never really got uh, particularly high. I don't even think it exited moderate. Now, uh, you already got a wooden wooden hand. You've got a new stab scar, it seems. Uh, let's have a look. How did you get that? No, actually, uh, that's, that's an old stab scar. Now, green is going to try and make their way off the map. Whether that is a good thing or not, well... That's a bit of a hard one to say, if I'm perfectly honest. We're noticing the battery is starting to run down a little bit. I'm uh, not, not amazingly happy about that. I may even deepen this little area and sink it back and uh, have the ability to install two batteries should we actually notice that there is a prolonged period of low low charge. But for the most part, the, the colony is coming along. We're getting these walls in place, and that's a fantastic uh, thing to be able to say uh, because that brings us th that little bit closer having all of this set up let's go ahead and get the uh, the pathway around there all in place now whether i'm going to put the uh the 
slate all over here? I don't know just yet, but uh, for now, we'll just at least take it this far. We'll also have the paved tiles there and there. Now, I do need to update the zones a little bit because this area is not considered part of the home zone, and it really should be. Uh, so let's go ahead, take care of that. Is there anywhere else I need to place in the home zone? Um, Sure. You know what? Let's make sure that this part is also considered part of the home zone. Now, green is uh, starting to speed up with every every moment, but that toxic buildup is going to be brutal. If uh, green can't stick to the caves, then that might actually get very, very nasty for them. If I'm if I'm honest, I'm a little bit worried about that. Now, uh, unfortunately, Dark Havoc is getting a little bit bored of solitary relaxation. As such, I am going to take this down to 50%. He will use his any time in order to get that up, but otherwise won't bother with it. Uh, what we can do, though, is find our television and install that in here. It should give, if we can position it correctly, yes, if we put the television here, whenever someone is chilling out, eating some food, then they will also... Oh, that is not what I meant to do. I want to uh, completely uninstall it. They will also watch television, and that will actually be a big help for us. That'll be a huge help, in fact. So uh, hopefully we can get that set up, and that'll give us a little bit of other forms of recreation that they can enjoy. Now, we do have some leather around. Not a lot. In fact, we've only got a tiny bit of leather. Uh, but we've got some alpaca wool. Now, do I really want to use alpaca wool? No, not when we haven't got uh, when we've got so little. Uh, we fully charged the battery, though. That's actually pretty nice. And the uh, corn plants are coming along marvelously. I may end up just allowing all of the he this heel root to grow. Uh, we'll see about that one. Uh, I'm, I'm not entirely certain on it yet, but I just want to grab this this harvest more or less, and then we're going to be switching that around probably to more corn. If I'm perfectly honest, we've got 51% of the way towards. Uh, cotton plants. Oh, oh no, were we using granite? Oh, we were using granite. Well, that's uh, that's a bit of a pain then. I'm gonna have to switch that around. My bad, everyone. Let's go for granite blocks then. Whoop and whoop. And we're also gonna have to actually, you know what? We'll just cancel all of that first, just to make sure we're using the right one because we can't have that being the wrong color. Now, come on. There we go. We've got, we've got to have it matching everything. Otherwise, what's the, even the point in doing it? But there we are. Uh, let's have a look at our uh, latest member of the colony. Let's uh, see your training. How's that going? Okay, well, we, we haven't done much of that right now, unfortunately. Uh, let me see. How how high can we make training? I'm, going, I'm very tempted to give this to Dark Havoc as a, as a two. Plant cutting is currently on a two. I might drop that down to a three, actually. Cleaning is on a two for Dark Havoc. Dark Havoc, given that you are going to be handling the, the animals, I'm going to just have you hauling and cleaning on threes. Yeah, and the same for Pepster as well. Let's see if we can't get all of this taken care of. Hopefully Dark Havoc will now uh, prioritize tending to uh, to our new wag and uh, getting them uh, properly trained up. On the whole, I'm fairly happy with where things are. I mean, we're not as far in the construction of this new area as I'd hoped that we would be, but we do have quite a few things going for us that I'm pretty happy to, to look at. We, we're also rebuilding some of our traps. Now, given that we are getting stone cutting up, you know, nice and fast at this point, I'm thinking that we may start switching over to using stone traps, or at least building the bulk of our, our traps that are just kind of fire and forget, just on the off chance that someone should use a location in the future out of stone, and then reserve the, the steel ones for the important places, like the defensive positions an enemy might uh, kind of stack up on prior to trying to breach the colony. I think that makes a lot of sense. In fact, I'm also going to pad out that wall just a little bit more, just to make sure it's nice and secure there. But generally speaking, fairly happy with the progress we've made. We're at the 10th of April, May. It is getting reasonably warm. Outdoors is uh, now a, a pretty pretty barby 18C, considering where we were uh, not too long ago at all. Uh, Dark Havoc is still doing quite a lot of uh, meditation, and that's fine. Generally speaking, Dark Havoc is only going to meditate now when he's scheduled to meditate. And to that end, maybe I'll actually tell him, look, go meditate. But once you're there, 
you can decide if you want to keep going or not. Uh, it's, a, it's a tricky one. I, I, I think we're going to leave it as it is for now. It's not going to be helping out the the recreation quite a, as well as I'd hoped. We want three different forms of recreation generally. That's a good kind of uh, rule of thumb number to go for. There we are. You're actually trying to uh, train uh, new log now. That's fantastic. Let's let's have a have a watch of this. When are you going to feed it? There we go. Feeding her on some insect meat. I mean, it's not the delicious human noms that uh, we would have liked it, but you had a 67% chance and you did manage it. Well done. Well done. But we are. Our food supplies are actually starting to run a bit low. I think we may need to get out into the world, either do some more trading, or possibly even go and kick a hornet's nest or two. And by kick a hornet's nest, I mean attack some uh, some pirates. Maybe. I'm starting to think that that might be a, a very, very real possibility in our near future. But that is going to be it for this episode. I really do hope you've enjoyed. Please do let me know down in the comments if you're interested in having the WAG named after you. But until next time, and as always, do take care, everyone. <laughs>